Cyber Attacks Cyber warfare, attacks, and intrusions have been around since the 1980s when computers and the Internet were still in their infancy. As information technology has proliferated around the world, so have the inherent vulnerabilities that come with it. As more individuals, groups, and nation-states gain access to this technology, they naturally learn how to exploit computers for military, intelligence, and criminal applications. Because of this fact, cybersecurity is becoming one of the most in-demand industries in the world today. It is currently estimated by CyberSeq, a data analytics company, that there are only around 68 cybersecurity professionals available for every 100 job postings in the United States as of 2022. Within the field of cybersecurity, there are several common threat actors that can cause damage to individuals, organizations, and governments. The first of these are nation-state or state-sponsored actors who operate on behalf of a country's military or intelligence apparatus, such as China's Ministry of State Security MSS, or Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service SVR, and Main Intelligence Directorate GRU. Nation-state actors are primarily focused on accessing classified information from other countries such as defense technologies, operational details, and other state secrets. Nation-state actors may also be interested in using cyber techniques to further their strategic objectives through covert action, foreign influence, and information operations. Attacks by nation-state actors tend to be very sophisticated, as their operatives are highly trained and are backed by more resources than other threat actors. One of the most notable examples of nation-state cyber espionage took place between 2014 and 2018, when the Chinese Advanced Persistent Threat APT-10 group attacked the United States and 11 other countries around the world. The cyber campaign, named CloudHopper, was focused on infiltrating managed service providers, MSPs, which allow for other companies to outsource back-end functions such as payroll, human resources, and vendor management. Many companies and organizations use MSPs, including the U.S. government, which was the focus on this attack. APT-10 focused their attack directly on the managed service provider, and the customers of the organization. The hackers used methods such as email phishing to gain access to the servers of the managed service provider and then installed malware to get remote access and to steal credentials. Credentials are tools that computers use to verify authentication of their users so they may be granted access to a specific service. Credentials are often encrypted tokens, keys, and passwords. APT-10 used the credentials of the managed service provider to gain access to many of their customers, which included the U.S. Navy. The result of this intrusion was that the hackers were able to gain access to the personal information of more than 100,000 U.S. Navy personnel and members of other government agencies. In 2018, two Chinese hackers were indicted in United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. These individuals and others involved in this attack still have yet to be captured and tried for their actions. The next type of threat actors to be discussed are cyber criminals, who are generally focused on using computer technology to conduct illicit activity for the purposes of profiting financially. Cyber criminals can be individuals, small groups, or they could be associated with established organized crime groups. Common tactics used by cyber criminals are distributed denial of service, ransomware, and industrial espionage. Cyber criminals generally target cash or data rich companies and wealthy individuals. Criminals generally don't target governments unless there is an opportunity for financial gain. One of the most recent examples of an attack by cyber criminals was the Colonial Pipeline attack on May 7, 2021. The attack was conducted by a Russian-based cyber crime organization known as Darkside. This organization launched a ransomware attack on the Colonial Pipeline company, which was a type of attack that denied access to critical services and infrastructure within the company. 
Darkseid then offered to remove the ransomware for a large sum of money. Darkseid's servers and Bitcoin wallets were taken over by authorities not long after the attack. Before shutting down, the hackers had managed to steal $90 million in ransom payments since their inception. The next cyber threat actor is what's known as a hacktivist, which is an individual or collective of hackers that use their skills to promote their ideology. Hacktivists primarily seek to embarrass or expose their targets and to release confidential information to the public surrounding a specific cause. Hacktivists have been known to target individuals, organizations, businesses, and entire governments to harass those who oppose their ideology. Sometimes these cyber attacks involve the release of classified information, personal information, and other damaging information. One of the most notable hacktivist organizations was known as Anonymous, which was a hacktivist collective that began in 2003. Anonymous was centrally focused on combating censorship, government surveillance, and corporate corruption. Anonymous hacked multiple organizations, which include Sony, Bank of America, high-profile individuals, and the Russian government. Most notably, Anonymous worked alongside the data repository WikiLeaks to release classified information belonging to the U.S. government. Anonymous leaders and members engaged in several illegal attacks against companies and organizations that ultimately led to the disclosure of large quantities of sensitive information. As of today, many of the leaders and members of this hacktivist organization have been arrested. Other cyber threat actors include cyber terrorists, which are groups and individuals who act either alone or in a state-sponsored capacity to conduct acts of violence for political, religious, or ideological reasons. Insider threats are individuals who work inside of a company or government who seek to cause damage from within the organization. This could be through releasing information to the public, installing malware, or deliberate sabotage. Then there are inadvertent threats, which are individuals or third parties that cause damage through unintentional errors. This could be through opening a phishing email that allows hackers to infiltrate a network, or through accidentally downloading a malicious script from the internet.